point to Watch them niggas around you Cause you never know what the fuck they going to do Remember that chick named Daphne from up in Applebee Sipping the daiquiri, sitting in back of me uh -huh. She tried to bait me up Word. To get a stick man to drape me up And probably even duct tape, tape me up sure. But I don't give a fuck about a chicken Cause when it comes to gun clipping I'm for fifing for real I keep seal from M1s to pen guns Won't borrow, no lend one What a wicked intention uh -huh. Shorty must really think I'm chicken head But I'm a pistol gripping head Ready to grab one from right by my dick in head That was my little intro still that took me like an hour to film and I almost didn't film it because I feel like with me, yeah, whenever there's something that I want to do and I'm like, yeah, let's do this, there's a fucking setback or a hurdle that just tells me, no, you can't do it. So I had to go through a little mental battle earlier and I was like, fuck it, bro. How am I letting the world decide what I can and cannot do? Do you know what I'm saying? So I said, fuck it, bro, I'm just going to film something. But um, yeah, obviously the main problem was my tripod, didn't it? Like, even right now, I'm risking even talking to my camera right now because it's just... It's on the tripod but not secure. So at any moment it could just fall. Inshallah, I don't. But so far it's been doing this thing. The whole purpose of this vlog here is I don't even know. I don't even know if this is even for YouTube. This is more for me, fam, because I'm at the point of where I'm like asking myself, what's next for me, fam, for Dino Vlogs, you know what I'm saying? I've just been doing this thing six, seven years. Hella fucking parties, bro. Hella parties and I've been getting bored of the parties and I'm trying to do some I'm trying to take my life to the next level bro Do you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be partying every weekend Especially when I ain't got nothing to celebrate, you feel me? I just want to take this YouTube team to the next, next level bro Do you know what I'm saying? Like I need the videography, the filmography, the cinematography All of that ography shit, I need it, I need it On my fucking, on my belt bro Yeah and I was just like finding things to do fam But I wake up and I'm like what the fuck do I do bro? Like, I always want to film, I always wake up and I'm like, what can I film, what can I film, what can I film? Nothing. Man, I shouldn't say nothing, because there's always something to film, trust me, but... I want to film something exciting, bro. I want to go back to Dubai, fam. I want to go to Thailand. I want to go back to America, bro. I want to do all these things, bro. London is so dead, bro. It's so shit. And the industry is dead. Like, it's just... I wouldn't even say it's fake, it's just dead, fam. Like, people are like, yeah, let's do this, let's work, let's link up, let's do this, let's do that. Nah, no, it never happens, bro. People just chatting. Oh, yeah, bro, I'm gonna shout in a couple of weeks. I've got a video to shoot. I want you to beat BTS. A couple months go by. I see the songs come out. No BTS. I get it, man. Everyone's just on their own path and everyone's busy. You know that, that meme that that guy said? Hey, it happens. People were people. None of it's intentional. It's far more likely that they're all in their own worlds, doing their own thing. They're not paying attention to the world around them. <laughs> it's true what he's saying, still. But, yeah, um... I was supposed to go to the manufacturer today because I got these new trackies, bro. Oh my day. Homies, different now. Let me show you real quick. Bro, these trackies are crazy. Trust me. Say hello to yourself real quick. Hello, vlogs. All right, cool. If you've been there from the start, yeah, and you've been buying homies' gums, yeah, you'll know that the quality has always been, like, number one for us, innit, yeah, when it comes to the, the garment, yeah. This shit here, this shit here is real different, bro. So... This is like our new acid wash tracksuit, yeah? Bro, you're gonna see that they're blank, innit? Usually I always order my shit blank when I order it from Alibaba because one time I ordered some shit with my logo on it. And then when they do like a whole bulk order with the one logo that you sent them, if the logo is wrong, then you're pissed because every single item that they just fucking put your logo on, it can't, it can't be sold now because you ain't fucking with it. So what I've learned, yeah? Is if I'm ordering from Alibaba, I'm ordering like overseas and shit. Just order all your samples blank, bro. Order them blank, get the sizing right first, get the quality of the garment first, feel it. You know what I'm saying? Make sure make sure this garment's even quality enough for you to even put your logo on there. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's why I ordered these blank. I'm gonna get into it, I'm gonna show you that real quick. But let me show you an example of a piece of um, clothing I ordered. With, I don't know, this is my fault though, this ain't even their fault. This is my fault, but these are the bottoms that I ordered, yeah? They're like straight leg, get me, like, they're banging bro, they're banging, I'm not gonna lie, even when I first ordered them, <coughs> I wasn't happy with the colour because I asked for grey, yeah, this is the grey but it's proper black, I don't know, it's a weird grey in it, but now when I wear them, I like them a lot, but um, yeah, nice little zip pockets and that, everything proper quality bro, we're, we're proper over here, but then, I was like, I was on my iPad bag in it, my Procreate trying to make logos and shit, and I made this, this one, 
I made this one as I was like ordering this um as I was ordering this trouser. But um yeah when it came I was like fuck man why would I put this logo? More time you can't even read it from far. It looks nice, it's not bad, it's not bad. But then it's like it goes against the branding. Like someone's gonna see this from far, they, they wouldn't even know what brand it is. But say now like you saw, I don't know, maybe this H Harp or you saw the fucking homies logo that I got on now, you'd be like, oh shit, that's homies. Do you know what I'm saying? From far, you ain't even gotta see the logo more time. So um, yeah, these are fire though, these are fire, but me, if I'm ordering samples from overseas, just get them blank, bro. And I can only do that because I have a manufacturer in London that can do my embroidery, do my printing, and do all these things for me. So I kind of just gotta spend a little bit more money, just a little bit, but it's a bit more peace of mind, you feel me? So anyway, let's get into these trackies. These stonewash, acid wash trackies, they're fucking fire. I'm definitely making six figures off these bad boys. I'm telling you, I'm for free, bro. Alright, well, I've got a blue wash one and I've got a black wash one. I don't know which one I like more, I'm not gonna lie, because when I first got it, I was like, yeah, black's the coldest, like, you can't go wrong with black. Then I tried on the blue and I was like, fuck, I'm not really used to midnight navy blue, but this is a new fit for me. And I'm wearing it, I'm like, fuck me, bro, this is fire. But anyway, um, I'm gonna show you the blue one first. I'm not gonna lie, like, this is, bro, this tracks is fucking peak, man. Hood up type shit, running your fucking gap and talk about give me the money, nigga. I'm just gonna put like a calm little logo on there, like uh, just a little, just a little logo here, man, tiny one, but like, like a calligraphy. Shall I show you? Shall I show you what logo I want? All right, call my fucking fifty cent vinyl just finished. Next vibe. I don't know. Who should I choose? Who should I choose? I need some more. I ain't got enough. I need some more. But anyway, let me show you the blue one. I think I'm gonna put um. Usually I'll put Biggie album on, but I'm gonna do J Cole. All right, cool. I made a little last minute change here. Um, I wasn't gonna put J Cole on, but I'm actually gonna put Erica Badu on, bro. I'm telling you now, these vinyls are art pieces, bro. Just take a moment. Just take a back. First, you got a face in this one, and she got the bottom of her face in this one. Back of the chair. Appreciate this art for a moment, bro. Look at the color of this fucking vinyl, fam. How? Bro, more time. How do you even get the song on there? Seriously, how the fuck do you get the song on here, bro? But even that like, collecting all these vinyls, yeah, is giving me an idea. Yeah. I wanna, I wanna make my own vinyl, with my own playlist. Maybe choose like I don't know, 10, 10 to fourteen songs or something. Call it the Homies album, and then just choose like a track list. You know what I mean? Of just mad songs that represent the homies. You feel me? You see some tunes from Michael, some tunes from Jack, Mark Dean, whatever. But then also mix them with tunes that I like. You know, hip hop tunes, you get me? Like, rolling with the homies. Homies. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you think about that idea. Let me know if you can help me make that come true. You know what I'm saying? But um, this is the blue tracking. I know I've had you at this angle for a while, so you might be getting bored. All I've got to do now is put my, put my logo on there. Make sure it just looks good, fam. Like, Shall I show you the logo? I'll show you the logo I want to do. This is the logo I'm going to put on there. Tell me. That just won't look so crispy clean, fam, like, bro, I'm telling you, because it's like, with this tracksuit, yeah, it's not about, it's not about the logos and the branding for me on this tracksuit. This one's about the feel, the quality, the fit, everything on this tracksuit is just perfect, bro. That's going to be the logo. I think, I think that's just clean as fuck. That's clean as fuck. If you feel like I'm missing anything, maybe I should add like a little accent. Because I'll put the logo here, boom. Boom, calm. Then maybe I can put like maybe something on the sleeve. Do you know what I mean? Like maybe a, a little saying or something like that. Something, a little mantra, something cool. So um, yeah, let me know. Hopefully I can post this vlog like tomorrow or some shit. Cause I'm gonna try and film everything I can today and just post it tomorrow. But um, yeah, let me know. I think that logo is fire. I think it's fire. But yeah, on that note, um, bro, I've literally just been filming and stuff. I haven't even gotten ready. So yeah, today I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do now. I'm probably gonna um <laughs> This is what I'm saying, this is my problem every time. What do I do now? It's Tuesday. No one ain't turning up on no Tuesday. Not in London anyway. I need to get the fuck out of here, bro. I need to go. I need to get the fuck out of here, bro. Seriously. I'm supposed to be going to Spain next month. I'm gonna do um that weed festival, Spanabis. So, um, 
Yeah, we're gonna do that. But fucking anyway, let me get ready and then I'll um, take you a lot outside and we'll see what we can get up to, fam. But anyway, thanks for being here. I know it's been quite a long intro, probably. Hope you enjoyed it. You get me just me waffling and stuff. Sometimes I feel like I talk too much, bro. And uh, I just be rambling and I be going off into tangents and that. And then I have to stop recording to be like, yo, bro, you said you wanted to film and talk about this particular thing. And then you ended up over here. I do it all the time. So I appreciate that you guys, you just sit here and just, you know, just let me do my thing. But I don't give a fuck about a chicken, cause when it comes to gun clipping, I'm forfeiting for real.